Life is like a box of chocolates. Oh, my very own Forrest Gump. What's up, cool cats? Today is a very, very special day. This video features two of my favorite things in the entire world, candy and my handsome husband, Sam. Everyone give him a round of applause. We are going to be trying out British sweets. Sweet treats. We love your culture, UK. All of you. We are actually obsessed with um, Love Island. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely not what you probably want us to like gauge your culture by. <laughs> us judging the UK by just Love Island is like the UK judging us just based on Jersey Shore. Like you look at Jersey Shore and think that's, that's what we are. I think that's I, actually I think that's, very accurate. Yeah. Today's video is actually brought to us by one of my amazing, amazing friends named Kelly. We love you. So this is the beautiful box in which Kelly sent the treats that we're gonna be trying today. Let's do the same. Let's dive in. We've got Kinder Surprise Eggs, Haribo Star Mix, McVitie's Penguins, Swizzles Love Heart. Milky Ways, which obviously we've heard of Milky Ways. Haribo Tang Fastics. Mm. Then we have McVitie's Club Orange. So this is another McVitie. It is somehow related to the, the penguin, I think. Here are a couple twirl bars. Twirlies. I like the name of these curly whirlies. Double dip. These very interesting little blocks that I am not going to attempt to pronounce until we actually get to them. Java cakes. And then we have Maltesers. Maltesers. And that is what we're gonna be trying today, folks. So here they are, our British here sweets. Here they are. Ooh, are we married or something? <laughs> First, we are going to be trying a British Kinder Surprise. And I feel yes. like I've heard of these at some point. Open that okay. baby up. Kinder Surprise. This is Animal Adventures Kinder Surprise. First we figure out how to open it. And that's the first surprise. The first surprise <laughs> is the correct way to open. What kind of animal do you want in your surprise? <clears throat> There's a bird, a koala. I kind of want the evil. Oh, I want the cat. I hope I get the cat. Do you remember when they had, when they had Pokeballs? Like yes. chocolate Pokeballs. That's what it reminds me of. My left, my left shake. Oh, you had a big surprise. So mine might be bigger. Big surprise for a big boy over here. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> We're such weirdos. <sighs> well, mine already has a cat on the outside. I hope it's, it's a cat on the inside. You're, you're, wait, we're going to take this to Parliament. <laughs> if, if this is a bird, I mean, I won't be mad because I asked for it. And you'll be like, I but like I, a bird. <laughs> and I'll be like, wow. Wow. <gasps> so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if yours is a cat and mine's bird, I'm gonna be slightly disappointed. Okay. 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 Sound. That's a good noise. So it is. <gasps> she broke it. I'm gonna do this. Oh! Everywhere. You know what? What I really like about this chocolate is it looks like it's white and milk chocolate. It's white chocolate. It's delicious. But how should I break this? Put your head right here. No. Okay. So they're little pods. The flavor profile actually mm. feels well rounded. I like adding the white chocolate. Wow, that's good. You gonna take a swig? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, me too. Cheers, Gosna. Hey, put another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good try. <laughs> or was it? Or was what? So Australia, a little known fact, Australia is exiled British people. Exiled. Whoa. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's look at your surprise first. Okay. Well, you gotta put it together. <gasps> it's oh! a little slow and I get a tree. I'm actually not mad. Because it's actually a surprise. Yeah. Yes. What is his name? I was going to say Carlton. Carlton. <laughs> I mean, his last name is Windsor. Carlton Henry James Charles Windsor III. Oh, 
Wait, that is one of my favorite noises I think I've ever heard. Do it again, do it again. One more time. Um, did you just do that with it? Oh. Mine is up. Oh. Woo, oh, have we? It's getting better. Wow, this is cool. Okay, hold on a second. How in the mother of pearl. So Carlton needs to just get out of the way real quick because Alberta's coming through. Alberta. Alberta, get it? Alberta. That's more Canadian though, isn't it? it Canadian. Is. Nope. Um, okay, no, I'm gonna stop now. Will you put Alberta over there with her brother, Carlton? We just did some chocolate, so I think we should switch it up. Cool. Let's try the love hearts. Love hearts. So it looks like sweet tarts to me. You know what kind of makes me laugh too is like on the actual wrapper, it shows you different hearts and says what they might say. And there's one that just says blue eyes. It's a very, don't cry. What if I handed you one that just right. said, don't cry. And then I just tell you some horrifying news. Don't cry, but your cat just died. That's not funny. But don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can't cry. Oh, I love British speak. This love heart just says, cheeky girl. Cheeky girl. You have cute little emoji. I know, I, I face Look. So, see, mine don't have as many inflections. So it's, I don't know how to say it's true. In it's person. true. It's true. It's true. It's true. like a Liverpool feel to it, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it's, it's true. You got it's to talk true. about John Lennon. <laughs> it's like, it's true. <laughs> now eat it. Tastes like a sweet tart. It's a sweet tart. Yeah. It's like a sweet tart and a Valentine's candy heart. Put together. Had a love child yeah, yeah. that had all their worst qualities. I guess this is the blend of both of them. Did you ever crush up your sweet tart and as if you're smoking? Not once. You did it? Not once. <laughs> no, I did not even know that. I'll show thing. you that trick later. I, I thought you were going to say snort them. Did you snort sweet tarts? No, actually, I, I don't remember. That explains thing. a lot. <laughs> mm. okay. okay. What's next? Let's do some chocolate next. Let's do Back some, to chocolate. Let's do some chocolate that we don't have in yeah. America. Yeah, yeah. The Curly Wellies. Oh, the curly wellies. The curly wellies. Saying it like that makes it sound like a hangover. Like the next day after like a hard night. A hard day's night? Where you've been working like a dog and sleeping like a log? On the eighth day of the week. <gasps> Here we go. Ooh, a little. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be cool like you. These are interesting. Oh, they got a little uh, caramel in them. I like the way that they look like they were just on a conveyor belt and nice. the machine was just like. So that's why they got the curly whirly, it's a machine shape. Just look, it's, it's curly and whirly. Right. Cheers Ooh. to John Lennon. Mmm. 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 A chewy. A red chewy. <laughs> Don't eat this if you have braces, because you're going to pop the bracket off, my friend. Is it acceptable to call a candy fit? A window. A bro it's really well, it's thick, Max. My jaw is getting thick. It would work out for the face. It would work out. Alright. I vote yes to Curly Whirlies. Curly Whirlies, you did good. Very chewy, but very good. Mmm. 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 Got a hair flip? Let's do uh, maybe a candy that we're more familiar with. So, which hard bow should we go with? The Star Mix or the Tang Fastics? I want to do the Tang Fastics. Okay. Y'all didn't know you were signing up for an ASMR video, did you? Initial reaction yeah, is, I think it's gonna be a Sour Patch Kid. Their version of a Sour Patch Kid. I see our little Haribo friend holding up like a, a cola, and then we have a very phallic looking little orange man. <laughs> Can't use that. <laughs> Why not? Isn't he though? Look, like what is he? It looks like a pacifier. But why? I don't know. It's it's odd. And then we have a crocodile holding very cheeky cherries. Yeah, it is it is a very odd branding. I feel like it deserves an explanation. It does. Maybe somebody can give it. Listen, Haribo reps. Oh, my cola. Tell us what's freaking going on. Got a cola, a cherry, 
the uh, pink something. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> and then I have a the pacifier. pacifier. Let's start with the pickle looking one gummy. Yeah, sure. Ready? It's like lime. Like a sour lime. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Alright, let's try the cola. Cool. Here we go. Do you say oh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you say Coke or Cola? Coke. I feel like the way that I grew up is soda. Here's soda. Here's a Coke. <laughs> A pop. Soda pop. That's a very cola flavor. It's interesting because it's also like to add the sour. Yeah. Sour. To a soda. Soda. It tastes like a bottle cap. Cream? Yeah. I don't like this flavor. Nope. I don't even know what it is. It tastes like the disappointment of paying for college, but not actually ever going to college. Like now you have all these student loans, but you didn't actually graduate from college. Been there. 10 fast sticks are... Not as, not as good. They taste like the name sounds. <laughs> Let's try a Milky Way. Sure. Okay, here we go. Actually, wait a second. This is not Milky Way. This is a Three Musketeers. Milky Way has caramel in it, doesn't it? It does. A Milky Way has caramel, and nougat, nougat, and chocolate. This just has the nougat. I like how soft the nougat is. Mm -hmm. Where are we going next? I think we're going back to gummy land and we're going to go to the ones that I feel very uncomfortable pronouncing. Malam. I say Malam. That's how I would pronounce it. Malam. 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 Right? It's M-A-O-A-M. Malum blocks. So let's start with soda. I'm, I think it's interesting how many soda shaped and flavored things we're getting. Candies, yeah. Candy wise. Soda candies, they just can't get enough of soda. Ooh, there's like little specks in it, which I find visually appealing. Here's to soda. So. Shuttle. Yeah, it tastes like a flat soda. It does. Mm -hmm. Like whenever you got to grandma's house and she keeps the sodas in the back but not refrigerated and you get two, one for right just now because you need a, you need a soda and then the other one you put in the refrigerator, this one tastes like the one that you just needed right just now. <laughs> You're so cute. That's actually spot on. Yeah. I just love how detailed you got with that. It made my heart flutter. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> memories attached. So that was the Malum, Malum Blocks. Malum Blocks. Aside from the very confusing phonetics of how to pronounce it, I enjoyed it. There were just mm -hmm. literally Malum Laters. Yeah, just chewy, chewy Malum. I just want to know what Malum means. So if anyone can shed any sort of light on that, that'd be cool. Or who is Malum? Yeah, is it a person? Is it a thing? Is this another slang that we don't know yet? Let's do twirls. Cadbury twirl. Or, or Cadbury. It says obey your mouth. Ooh, excuse me. It looks like a kind of like a Twix bar. Like if they went to it. Like a little bit longer Twix bar. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anything's in it. I know. I kind of want to just, just chocolate. Snap it in half. Okay. Oh. I like the the initial crunch. Yeah, it's just so it's milk chocolate. It's literally just a milk chocolate bar. There's chocolate. nothing else in it. It tastes like Nestle's chocolate, not like not like um, Hershey's, but I would say Nestle's chocolate. There's a difference, yeah. There's definitely a difference. And it's not like again bad. I'm Pen Pennsylvania boy. I know the difference between Nestle's and Hershey's. I like looking at it. I don't love eating it just because it's just chocolate and like, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot, lot of just but chocolate. I keep, I keep eating it. But you can't stop. I made it a little more. Chocolate lover over here. I'm a little chocolated out. So I think we should do the other Harbo. This is a lot of candy. Harbo Star Mix. I'm intrigued because it looks like on the packaging we have it, a, an egg. Another soda pop. Like an oh, yeah. gummy. And then what? maybe like a ring and a heart. Like I would think it would be stars or like rocket ships, but. Something. A side in. Let's figure it out. I'm gonna go for the egg first because 
You didn't even get an egg. I don't have an egg. Do you I, have an extra egg? I have a double egg. <gasps> Thank you. It tastes like nothing. That, mm, yum, yum, yum. It tastes this, like nothing. This one. It just tastes like gummy. I'm kind of boogery. I'm gonna be shocked if this doesn't have a good cola flavor because every cola thing we've tried tonight is actually like really spot on. <sighs> My tongue my hurts. There's a lot. The only gummy with some flavor. Yeah. In that pack. But it tastes like all the other several flavors. I don't really like the star mix. That's probably my least favorite thing. Yeah. My least favorite thing that we've tried. I, I'm a little grossed out. <sighs> I feel like Simba eating that slug for the first time. <sighs> Hold on. Slimy yet unsatisfying. So next, we're gonna do the double dip. Changing it up totally. Yeah, so there's only one dipstick. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> this is exactly like a fun dip. Fun dip. Yeah. In this double dip, we've got an orange and cherry. You're going for the orange. I'm going for the orange. This is hard because it's... I'll go for the cherry. Yeah. It's I, like don't know if, I don't even know if I got it. Oh, they're they're clear. Yeah, that's not this. So a, a fun dip for us is like... It's colored. Colored and it would color your tongue and your teeth. And it would color change as well. There were those, weren't yeah. there? Oh. It didn't really taste like a flavor. Don't get me wrong, I can eat a stick made out of pure sugar any day. Mm -hmm. But the flavoring like powders, I'm not super crazy about. I don't know, I think it's similar. I think they could take some of their technology in flavoring all the cola flavors and like devote some of that science toward their cherry flavors. Let's do a McVitie's Penguin. I need you to read this right here. Can I read it out loud? Yeah. P -p -p Pick up a penguin! <laughs> Ooh! Look, it's like a Laffy Taffy on the oh, back. There's jokes. Joke. Okay, what's your joke? My, my question is, what type of pasta do penguins eat? What kind? Penguin. I don't know if it's a bad joke or if maybe it's just like too classy for us. <laughs> <laughs> you British. All right, mine is, what's a penguin's favorite film? Frozen. Yay. I hope that the candy is as fun as the branding is. It feels like a cookie. It does. In the impact. I hope it has crunchiness. I want to crunch, like. Ooh. A chocolate cup. I have a lot of chocolate. It is chocolate covered with a chocolate cookie. And cookie. And a chocolate cream. I can't take another bite though. It's too chocolatey for me. Mm -hmm. I like it though, don't get me wrong. The flavor's really good. I could have done more caramel or something. Mm -hmm. Or marshmallow if it had like chocolate coating, chocolate cookie with marshmallow filling and like a thin chocolate cream in the middle. Hire me McVitie's. Oh. I dig. Next chocolate thing on the agenda is gonna be Maltesers. I feel very uh, Uruguayan with this ponytail. I legit look just like my cousin. This is what she looks like. I'm gonna put a picture in right there. Will they tease us with their deliciousness? I don't like malt balls, so I'm automatically like predisposed to feel like I'm not gonna be crazy about this. Sure, right, let's try. Let's try. Ooh, fancy, aww. Little things go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> this video is not made for kids. Take that copper. This is like kind of you have the uh, for you and then to share. Here, to share, one for me, one for you. Just a chocolate ball with wafer and stuff. Yeah. It's good not great. It's pretty mm. straightforward. I don't like it though. You no. Know? There's something about that malt flavor that throws me off every time. Yeah. Mm. There's not much to say about it. Yeah. It's alright. It's okay. If you like malt flavoring and chocolate, you'll love malt teasers. Yeah. 
So last but certainly not least, we have got the Battle of Orange Chocolate Candy. <laughs> In one corner, we've got Club Orange. It literally just, oh, it explains what it is right here. Milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with an orange flavored cream. <gasps> Ooh, so biscuits, AKA a cookie. For all you Americans out there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when a British person says biscuit, it means cookie. And when an American person says biscuit, it means bread. They're two very different things. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> very different things. A biscuit to a southern person is it's dough. The next contender in our lineup is Jaffa Cakes. And we're guessing that this is also orange flavored because of the orange peels in their branding, which I actually really like. Yeah. I think that's really cool. So you awesome. open that up. You open that. Mm -hmm. You bite yours, I'll bite mine. One, two, three. Okay, tell me about yours. Tell me about the club. So, it is a cookie mm -hmm. on the inside. It's kind of like a um, um, Keebler cookie Oh. on the inside. And then it's chocolate covered and then orange flavor. So, this guy is really interesting because it very much tastes like a little mini cake. The dough is actually pretty soft and chewy and then it's got the chocolate and it's got this really awesome like orange flavoring in the middle. Like Whoa. A, like a gummy. Yeah. No, they're switched. One, two. I would rather have that. I would rather have that. Really? <gasps> we complete each other. Woo! That was a journey. <laughs> so here's, here's the question though. What? What was your candy crush? My candy crush would have to be the curly whirly. I loved the way it looked. It was fun, the branding is fun. I love that when you bite into it, it just has this really satisfying like softness with the caramel. I don't know though, I feel like a close runner up has to be the Kinder Surprise because that chocolate was delicious. Chocolate was good. With the white chocolate and then the fact that you get the cutest little toy that comes with it, I mean, yeah, what about you? I might also say the curly whirly. That might be the the undisputed. That might be the best. The one. candy champ. The candy champ. So now let's say our least favorite. What's yours? The star mix. The Haribo star yeah. mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a tough one. It didn't taste like anything. Feel free to comment below and let us know what your thoughts are. We would be really intrigued to hear what you think. And this was such a fun video. Yeah, Thank you so going. much for being here. Ah, you're welcome. We really appreciate you, Kelly. Thank you so much for sending us these amazing sweets to enjoy and review for your viewing pleasure. Comment below some other kinds of foods that you would like to see us try. Until we meet again, go out there and be nice and be alive. We'll see you next time. Bye.